Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on a Saturday. It is January the 19th, 2019. Going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Goldstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. So we're going to look at the stakes races, races 4, 6, 10, 11 here on Sunshine's Million Day from Goldstream. So races 4, 6, 10, 11. Let's get on to it. The fourth race from Goldstream. It is to Sunshine's Million Sprint purse one hundred thousand dollars races for Florida birds, four year olds, and upwards. A field of seven horses going to post a distance of ground here of twelve hundred meters or six furlongs on the Goldstream Park main track. Twelve hundred meters, six furlongs. And uh, my top selection here, I like the one horse, XY Jet. Um, I know he's a favorite, but I think he should run well, and I'll single him in a multi race. I'll go 1537 in the Super Facto. 1537 Super. Top selection, one horse, uh, XY Jet. Uh, I guess Hermio up in the saddle, seven year old gelding by uh, Kanthros. Pours the gelding on the 27th of August, of um, December of 2014, so he's been gelding over four years now. Jorge Navarro trains this one who's uh, currently a leading trainer here at Goldstream, but. Um, um, the horse's most recent outing came the 30th of June. That came here locally at Goldstream. Six furlongs at the Smile Sprint. The horse won by two and three quarter lengths there, and he was just on the lead all throughout. And he had a very good victory there. It, it was an all around good race. It was his first start back from Dubai, where he ran at Maidan. Six furlongs in the Dubai Golden Shaheen. The horse been second by head there. He, he stalked most of the race, had the lead, and looked like he was going to win, but then he kind of hit the wall at the last 16th. And mind your biscuits, was the only horse to really close up during the whole car. Carnival, let alone World Cup night, but the, the whole World Cup uh, carnival, the, um, the 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 made on dirt was playing towards speed, uh, but mind your biscuit, biscuits was one of the few horses to close, and he just ran a hell of a race. <coughs> you know X Y Jet, he was a good second there, uh, and then before then the Pelican of Tampa, six rounds February the seventeenth, horse won by seven on lead all throughout, very easy victory, and then this horse won this race last year, winning by five and a half lengths after not the best beginnings also, but um, you know he's the speediest horse here by mile, I think. You know he likes this course. He's twelve and six at Goldstream. I like him a lot, so I'll take him as a top selection. So. To recap my selection for the fourth from Goldstream at Sunshine's Million Sprint. Gonna go with the one horse XY Jet. I'm gonna go one five three seven in the Superfecta to race it. Race six from Goldstream. It's the Sunshine's Millions turf. It's going for a purse of one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Races for four year olds and upwards. Florida breds here. Field of nine horses. The nine horses a main track only, so only eight will go on the turf course. Hopefully, the distance of ground of seventeen hundred meters or a mile and one sixteenth on the Goldstream Park lawn. The turf course rails at sixty feet, so it's different portion of the turf course. And I show the diagram, just gives me a second to look down at my notes, just bear with me. Sorry, I'm stupid, I can't do two things at the same time. Top selection here, I like the three horse, big changes. I'm going to go 3, 2, 7, 4 in the Superfecta. 3, 2, 7, 4, Super. Top selection of three horse, big changes. Uh, the seven year old gelding by Midshipman pours a gelding on the 14th of January of 2017. Brad Cox trains. Javier Castellano picks up the mount. This horse is cross centered with the race at the fairgrounds today, but hopefully he runs here, and I have a feeling he'll run here. His most recent outing came at the fairgrounds, so a mile 16th in the Dilbo, Dilberto Memorial. The horse finished second by four and a half lengths. He stalked most of the race, and he just couldn't get the good closing kick. First down at the fairgrounds, maybe you need the race. I think a drier turf course should really suit this one. Before then, the River City handicap at Churchill on the yielding lawn, a mile on the 8th, November the 17th. He finished second by half length, set the pace most of the race, but then he got caught in the stretch, but he ran a good effort. And then a lounge race at Keeneland, a mile 16th, October the 12th. The horse won by a neck. He sat stalking early on, got the lead, and then he held on. A very good run. And then before that, he won the Unbridled Louisiana Downs very nicely on the front end. And he won the West Virginia Speakers Cup at Mountaineer going a mile 70 on the lawn. Very easily by three and a half length stalking. He's a good horse here. He's um you know, he's a good kind of stalking horse. He's gonna like the firm ground and um you know he has a good poster here for this Goldstream Park turf course. He gets uh, Javier Castellano who knows this this circuit well. I like this horse, so I'll take him at eight five. Ship price now. Prices are gonna come a little later. But to recap my selections for the six from Goldstream, it's the Sunshine Million Turf. Gonna take the three horse big changes, gonna go three, two, seven, four in the Superfecta to 
Race 10 from Goldstream. It is the Sunshine's Million Philly and Mayor Turf. It's going for a purse of $150,000. This race is for Phillies, Mayors, great four year olds, and upwards. Field of 13 horses going to post. Distance of ground of 1,700 meters, with a distance of ground of a mile and 1 16th on the Goldstream Park lawn of the turf course. 1,700, a mile 16th. The rails are up today, I believe. I get on this course at 60 feet, so it's the middle portion of the turf course. Top selection here, I'll take the four horse warranty. I'll go 4 8 13 2 in the Superfecta. 4 8 13 2 Superfecta. Top selection of four horse warranty. This six year old mare by Artie Schiller, Mike Maker trains, Jose Ortiz picks up the mounts. The horse is most reason out and came the 10th of November over at uh, Goldstream Park West Calder. Seven and one half frongs in a millions Philly Mayor preview. The horse finished third by three lengths there and broke shit that day. Then break well, sat towards the backpack early on, then slowly moved away up, but didn't have a lot left in the tank at the end. I think coming here off a little bit of a break, back to Goldstream regular, I think I'll run a lot better. Before that, the horse ran out on the 20th of October at uh, Calder, 7 half hops with 25 claimer. The horse finished second by half length and really closed up well that day. It was a decent race there. And then again at Belmont, yielding ground a mile 16th in our turf course off 6-2 claimer. The horse was way out of it, finished seven by 16 lengths, very wide. And it wasn't the day to win. The horse's last start locally came in the Ginger Punch last June, where the horse finished fourth by one and a quarter lengths, where she had a little bit of traffic which caused her, but she ran well. And then her last win came here back on the 21st of June, of January, excuse me, Mount Lathan on Ops 35 claim her horse won by half length and had a easy turn of foot, just one for fun. I like this horse a lot here today. I think he's going to like the return to Goldstream. She loved the firm ground, and uh, 10 to 1, good poster. I'll take him. So, her. so to recap my selection for the 10th from Goldstream, it's the Sunshine Million, Billy Mayor Turf, going to take the four horse warranty. Go 4, 8, 13, 2 in the Super Facta. To race 11, the the featured 11th race from Goldstream, it's the Sunshine's Million Classic, going for a purse of $200,000. This race is for four-year-olds and upwards. Florida Breds here. Field of eight horses going the distance of ground of 1,800 meters, or the distance of ground of a mile and one-eighth on the Goldstream Park main track, 1,800 meters, a mile and eighth. And um, this race used to be a million bucks, hence the reason Sunshine Million and the million. But um, you know, since uh, you know, since the credit crunch, basically, um, well, not the credit crunch. I think it was still worth a million bucks since uh, until about 2010, and then they kind of scrapped the original Sunshine Million concept. You know, because years ago it used to be California versus Florida in a different um, venue, Gold, Gold Strip or Santa Anita every year, every other year, uh, which host uh, different races. Uh, uh, but then they kind of scrapped the idea, which I think was quite sad, because I think the original concept worked very well. Um, but, um, you know, since the race was worth a million bucks, you saw some very good runnings. And the race actually used to, these races used to actually be on NBC. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, certain stuff happened, they couldn't keep it going. Um, I have a feeling that what's going to happen to the Pegasus is what, you know, what happened to the Sunshine Millions is going to happen to the Pegasus races in a few years. Um, you know, so... Uh, you know, I don't think they're going to be able to keep that going, but um, we'll, we'll, let's uh, take uh, good advantage as we have it. But um, my top selection here in Sunshine Million, I'm going to take the one horse down more. I'll go 1486 in the Superfecta. 1486 Super. Top selection, one horse down more. The six year old going by Colonel John. I read Ortiz Jr. picks up the mount. The horse is most race now to him. The Richard Small stakes at Laurel. Mile eighth on a good main track on November the 10th. The horse finished second by half length, and he, he set the pace from the rail by a lot. He, he was on the lead almost all throughout up until the stretch, but then he got overtaken. But he, he fought a good race to the final the final 316s. It wasn't a bad run there. Before that, sprinting at Keelan and the Phoenix, six furlongs. The horse finished fifth by 12 and three quarter lengths there, and he just was never into it. Those those horses were the best of the best sprinters, and he just wasn't keeping up. And then the Whitney at Saratoga, he finished eighth by 45 and a quarter lengths. Again, those were tougher horses. Um, you know, he, he does better when he's on the front end. He's on a speed favoring race course. You want speed from the rail here. And I think he's, you know, I think he's the horse to be, um, you know, his most recent outing where he actually had the speed from the inside came in the, um, 
before the Richard Small Stakes came in the prayer, at Prairie Meadows, Mount Latham, the Cornhusker, where he finished second by one and a half lengths. Um, you know, the winner, remembering Rita, just ran that little bit of a better race, but this horse bought a good run, and then before that, he ran fourth in the Essex Handicap against some tough horses, and then he won uh, at Santa Anita going mile 16th off 62. Claimer won by eight and a quarter lengths, very easy victory. I like him a lot here today. Speed favoring horse on the speed favoring course. You know, he's faced tougher in the past, so he stepped down class from last year. Four to one, I'll take him. He's been training well. Watch out for him. So to recap my selection for the 11th from Goldstream, it's the Sunshine Million Classic. Gonna take the one horse down, or I'll go one four eight six in the Super Factor. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five.